Blow. Ah, shit. Don't blow. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me Christine again. A couple of videos ago you guys witnessed my friend Sophia and I get a manicure at a fancy ass salon near LA with a nail polish that was supposedly valued at $130,000. For the manicure itself, I paid 2,500 American dollars. Just making wise investment decisions like YouTubers do. And when the comments came rolling in, there was a lot of people who were suggesting that that was a ridiculous amount of money to spend on nail polish. Well, yes. I thought that was pretty obvious. I think most of us can agree that spending that kind of money on nail polish is uh, not that fiscally responsible. <laughs> I mean, you guys know, I don't really spend my money on much other than Starbucks and Hollow. My money just kind of sits there in the bank for my future. Fun. In any case, I thought it would be fun for my friend and I to have a ridiculously luxurious salon experience because that is like the opposite of how I live my daily life. Sweatpants, bitch! And if you live your life anything like I do, then you'll be happy to hear that today we're gonna recreate the same f***ing expensive $2,500 manicure right here at home for $25. Because I spent all my disposable income and now I'm on a budget. <laughs> you will need a $10 gold shimmer nail polish, a $2 black nail polish, and around $13 worth of gold flakes. First, sadly, we have to peel off my hollow nails. This is Xyler's Copper Hollow. It's so beautiful. No! <laughs> At least you're getting some sweet, sweet peel porn. <laughs> Come for the clickbait, stay for the peel porn. First off, let's put on our trusty peel off base coat so I can peel it up and keep it later. Yes, my nails are yellow, kind of orange. If you comment that down below, we'll know you're new here. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the one hand today because honestly, I felt so out of my element having both my hands match. It was the weirdest thing ever. And plus, how could I remove what's on my other hand? Got some tropical, vibrant, neon, orangish polish with a hollow taco on top because I don't play no games. While we wait for the peel off base coat to dry, why don't we have a look-see at the comment section on my 130,000 dollar nail polish video, huh? Ah, I'm entering the war zone. First of all, I want to thank the many of you guys for suggesting that I recreate the look that the salon did. I think that's a genius idea. What do you know? I'm filming that video right now. You guys definitely picked up on how painful the mere experience was of having someone else touch my nails. <laughs> I can't look. You guys know how long I've been growing back my nails since the tragedy that we shall not speak of. Nail growth video coming soon ish. But anyways, yeah, honestly, it is very difficult for me to have someone else touch my nails. The manicurists were such great sports for putting up with me and they were actually pretty funny. I'd collab with them again. <laughs> now that the peel off base coat is dry, let's start with the accent nail. You'll need a black polish. Any cheap one will do. I'm using sinful colors, black on black. I got this shit at Walmart for $1.98. Honestly, it's not my favorite because it's not opaque in one coat, but It'll work. We just gotta do two coats. And now for the gold shimmer polish. It's shimmer, not glitter. <laughs> I found this OPI one that looks pretty much exactly the same as the Model Zone gold nail polish. Good thing I saved my peelies for reference purposes. See, that shit pretty much exactly the same. Did you guys catch the peel porno on my second channel? Huh? Huh? That was some good shit. You can find this OPI one for $9 and change off Amazon. Its name is Oi Another Polish Joke. I guess they sick of my channel. You could also get the actual Model Zone Gold Rush Polish Replica, or maybe it's the exact same shit as the $130,000 version. Who knows? But you could get the discounted version for about eight to nine dollars US. But sadly, no one will fucking ship to Canada, so I couldn't get it in time. All right, let's do our first coat. the same way the salon did, which was not applying a colored base coat at all, just putting the shimmer polish directly on the nail. Kinda looks the same as my natural nails, doesn't it? <laughs> Second coat. Now we 
should really only do two coats because that's what the salon did. They're probably trying to ration all that gold in the polish. But I'm gonna do a third coat because this polish is $9. Back to the comment section. There were definitely some people who seemed really upset by my video. Take a Bob the Redneck Slob 2, for example. Anyone who would buy $130,000 nail polish is on stupid retarded whore. Wow. Who raised you? Bob the Redneck Slob 1? Or take Mike DeRitter here. Mental health therapy is probably something you should invest in after you go bankrupt slut. <laughs> oh wait, he left two comments, goody. Thank God I'm not the only one who saw the first 10 seconds of this video and was like fucking ugly makeup abusing nail polish horse. Oh, you noticed my makeup. Why, thank you. What is it with boys randomly calling women whores and sluts for no particular reason, <laughs> other than just an attempt to insult them? I'm pretty sure these guys went to my high school 10 years ago, and they're probably still there. I also saw some comments from you guys, and some of you were tweeting at me, that four days after my video, BuzzFeed posted a video about getting an expensive salon manicure at the same salon that Sophia and I got our expensive manicure. BuzzFeed just jelly, I stole their girl. <laughs> You know what's funny? The thought process behind my $130,000 nail polish video was literally to parody the types of videos that BuzzFeed would make. Like the worth it videos, you know how they always go drop thousands of dollars on something and then ask if it was worth it? Spoiler, it's never worth it! So it's not really a surprise to me that at the same time that I was making a video about an expensive luxury salon experience, BuzzFeed was also making a video about the same concept. <laughs> I was making fun of the type of video that BuzzFeed would make and then BuzzFeed went and made that video. <laughs> and most importantly, BuzzFeed made sure to let everyone know that they filmed their video before I did. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. BuzzFeed wants you to know that they filmed their video back in April. Whoa. They circled it so you would see it. They did the circling, not me. Because <laughs> you know, it would have been such a liability for their giant company valued at $1.5 billion for people to think that I filmed it first. <laughs> The only thing I'm left wondering is, damn BuzzFeed, why does it take you like three and a half months to edit a video? <laughs> That's rough, do you need some more employees because they all left? <laughs> BuzzFeed's next video! I'm honestly just happy to hear that BuzzFeed watches my videos. Now for the golden leaves. You can find jars of golden flakes online for give or take $13. Now I went and bought the exact same jar of gold flakes that the salon had because I realized, oh shit, that's the same brand and everything. <laughs> and this was over $30, but this is totally not necessary because from what I understand, all this gold flake shit is the same. And it's usually cheaper if you buy it in sheet form and then you can rip it up yourself. And if you don't want to do any rip there's some smaller portions of gold flakes you can get for well under $13. So let's just say that, give or take, you can get gold shit for $13 because it's what added up to $25, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> or I can think of a more fun way to get gold flakes. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. All right, it's time to get drunk. <laughs> Memories of university. <laughs> All right, flakies, come on out. We need to invest you for our future. Well, I caught some, but it definitely missed a lot more. <laughs> God damn it. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just stick to the dry gold flakes. They really do taste like nothing. So it's pretty easy to shred this gold foil. It's super delicate. It does tend to kind of stick together. Ah, oh, how'd that get there? Gold, damn it. <laughs> now we're gonna take our glassy taco, slap it on over the black polish, and then we're gonna work quickly to place the gold little flakies. You wanna spread them out carefully so the whole nail isn't covered in gold. We don't want to go too bougie, you know what I'm saying? Bitches are bad and bougie. And then with a light touch, you can just take your finger and gently press the gold down. And now we're going to add a nice thick coat of Glossy Taco to seal in that $25. All right, friends. What do we think? I think it definitely looks a lot like the manicure I got at the salon for $2,500. <laughs> looks 
kind of expensive, but you know what would make it look even more expensive? Adding a hollow taco. <laughs> Now my nails actually look closer to being worth $2,500. A few people did ask me if I actually paid $2,500 for the manicure at the salon. Yes, I did. The salon did want to give it to us for free, but I insisted on paying for at least the base price of the services because otherwise I felt like it would have been a conflict of interest, especially given the value of the services. Sometimes when you accept a free service, especially one valued that high, there can be underlying expectations that you speak positively about the business because they're giving you the services for free in exchange for publicity. We wanted to do this as impartially as we could for you guys, which in my view, meant that it was most fair if I paid for the services as any paying customer would. And I showed you the receipts, girl. And when I say receipts, I mean actual receipts, like bills, like a transaction with a set amount of money, not a Twitter tweet or DM. <laughs> you wanna know the real tea though? Buzzfeed still has not shown their receipts. Or maybe all of their expensive videos are complimentary and they never have to pay for anything and it's all one giant undisclosed advertisement and that's why they never have any receipts. One last thing from the comments. A lot of people thought I got scammed. <laughs> I mean, spending thousands of dollars on your nails that are just gonna chip up anyways will always be a scam in my opinion. But hey, if a bitch wants to pay for it, a bitch wants to pay for it. However, yes, we were told that the nail polish they use contained real actual gold in the lacquer. And the salon didn't really give us the clearest answer when we asked what was in it. So it's made of gold in there? It has uh, gold of... Uh, uh... Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then there was the diamond cap, which I think probably would have accounted for most of the $130,000 value because diamonds. However, some of you eagle-eyed people out there pointed out that the cap was silver with diamonds on top of it and not gold, which is what the cap looks like in the pictures of the media articles written about the original $130,000 model's own gold nail polish. Some of you also pointed out that when they were actually painting our nails with the polish, the cap was white and not encrusted with diamonds. And that's because the diamond cap doesn't have an actual nail polish brush on it, so they had to swap it out with a regular cap just to do the painting. At least, that's what we were told. So after this whole experience, we decided to reach out to Model Zone to ask if the Oach couture version of the gold polish actually contained any real gold and if it would make sense that a salon would have a silver cap with diamonds rather than a gold cap with diamonds. Unfortunately, they didn't answer in time for me to post this video, but they did say that someone would get back to me on that, but that was over a week ago. I don't want to get sued, okay? So I'm not going to draw any conclusions. I'm gonna let you draw conclusions. <laughs> I do just want to say that I really enjoyed filming that video. It was so much fun to go do that crazy f***ing salon experience with Sophia. I just wanted to have fun with my friend and film an over-the-top, overpriced luxury experience. At the end of the day, in what world does someone agree that a f***ing nail polish bottle is worth $130,000? <laughs> or that a manicure is worth $2,500? I think 99% of us would agree that that's crazy. Bottom line, I got the chance to make a crazy ass ridiculous video that I normally would never make. You guys got entertained by it, hopefully. And we had a good time. My favorite part of the day was that in and out, so I don't have any regrets. But from now on, I think I'll stick to doing my own nails. Like this video if you would make smarter decisions with $2,500 than a YouTuber would. Alright everybody, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!